This is a quick introduction to a product called TweetGrid. TweetGrid allows you to follow conversations such as they are on Twitter. So let's start by opening up a browser. And we'll go to www.tweetgrid.com. And when it comes up, TweetGrid gives you several options here. You can look at something with just one conversation at a time, or you can look at two conversations in columns, or two conversations in rows, three conversations in columns. Let's show you how you could look at four at the same time. You could theoretically have a game with one player here and another player here and watch the two sides talk to each other, and then have another set down here with two other teams talking to each other. We're just going to look at two conversations at the same time, and we want them in columns, so we're going to pick one by two. And you'll see here on the left that Twitter is literally everything being posted to Twitter is being reposted here. And it doesn't flow completely nonstop because the servers have to go out, get information from Twitter, and then rebroadcast it to not only me, but everyone else who is watching at the same time. Over here, let's look up NFL and see what's going on. And you'll see, anytime anybody has used the hashtag, this little pound sign is called a hash, the hashtag NFL, it's going to show up over here. And these are set to update every zero seconds. You could do this almost anything, any arbitrary number. Uh, when it's super busy, it's not going to make much difference because it's going to update when it can and so it may take longer than five seconds for it to update anyway but you'll see that it changes color see how the the lighter this kind of off white is at the top and then the white is at the bottom so that's how you know which ones are new and which ones are are old that have been pushed down so you see the tags here nfl is a tag capitalization doesn't matter Here's New York Giants is a game going on right now. NFL, Saints, NFL, NFL again. So let's look at Giants. Now, notice that I, if I say Giants and I don't say New York Giants, I'm just going to get Giants. And it's going to take a minute for it to update. Okay, so now we got Giants, Bucks, Saints, okay, but the Giants are playing the Chargers. So let's, now I could put in San Diego, I could put in New York, uh, but I, I have to pick something. Now, you could theoretically change the, the grid so it's two by two, and here you could put pound sign New York, but if you do that, you're going to get some conversations that have nothing to do with football. And if here, if you put San Diego, you could get some conversations that have nothing to do with football. So now it, it's entirely possible that you're going to see similar things going on. But the reality is that you're more likely to see the, the football conversation by paying attention to the, the names of the teams. So over here, you have Chargers and over here you have giants and it, we may or might may not actually see someone uh, have a conversation go back and forth this n b a m v p that's in both of these this is exactly the same post that got on both of them because it mentioned both the giants and the chargers now if someone replied to n b a m v p then they would say at sign like this where it says DJ Birdie Bird. If somebody put at sign NBA MVP, then it would show up on one of these two lists. So in addition to the hashtags, you may be able to follow an actual conversation. I'm going to go back to the one by two. So we're just looking at team names and that way you can kind of see a sense of the 
flow of conversation as it goes on. Remember that we're not actually looking for a conversation in the sense that someone on the left is talking to someone on the right. That may happen, but chances are pretty slim that you're actually going to see that conversation as it goes on. It's more likely that what you're doing is you're getting a sense of what the two sides feel about something and how the two sides are presenting information. This NBA MVP is posting a number of times and is posting with the hashtags for both teams. So it's clearly kind of broadcasting their impressions of what's going on. Now, lots of people are putting up what they think here and there, but in terms of actually broadcasting, that's the one that stands out to me as uh, having posted several times just in the short amount of time that we've been watching. Now, if you change these settings so that it is five seconds on each side, you're going to see the updates flow through more regularly and at the same time. Not particularly useful on something this high volume, but it may be more useful on something where, for example, if you only have 300 people in the crowd, there's no point in having it check, 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 check all the time because you're just not going to have that much traffic. In this case, uh, we've got a game going on and people from both sides are giving their impressions and you're going to catch up with them when they both get updated very similar or very close to the same time. So that is TweetGrid. You might use this in your presentations by having one person in your audience be responsible for posting up comments about what's going on and having someone else follow TweetGrid and the person following tweet, TweetGrid can actually post things to Twitter and reply to people who are having a conversation about what's going on in your room. And that way they could even take questions from somebody in the audience, the, the non-present audience, the Twitter audience, and present those to you in the room. And it's just a way that I believe we're going to be communicating more in the future. You will have people who are following in, in a very casual way something that's going on in another room perhaps thousands of miles away. So it will be possible, it is possible, for people to have some sort of a conversation with people who are not actually in the room and to to trace that conversation online. Now, um, <clears throat> you could theoretically record all of this. I'm obviously recording it right now, but you could record a conversation and then have somebody summarize it and post that someplace. If the people who are using the hashtags are um, keeping track of this and come back to it, they may pay attention to that and and notice your summary someplace. At a minimum, you should make sure that if you're the person who is orchestrating a tweet grid and trying to get the conversation going online, you need to make sure that your name is used a lot. Like say, I am watching at sign Carl so that people will know who that is and if they choose to follow that person they can. It's also good if there are three or four major speakers to say at sign speaker one made a really good point, da 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 da, maybe summarize a little bit of it, you've got 140 characters to do that. And then at sign speaker two replies that that's not a great idea and here's why, whatever it might be. So if somebody actually tries to summarize the conversation, then you'll be able to um, uh, gather more followers that way as well. And they will know who those people are and could subscribe to them on Twitter if they chose to. Now, one of the things that I do is when I make a presentation, I will actually say, here's a new slide. I'll put in a new slide and I'll say um, hashtags. And that way when people are listening to me, I'll say, let's do uh, PM, which is not very particularly useful, but let's do promo monkey and let's do promotion monkey. And of course, it's got to be one word so that the, the search engine will find that specifically. You could also do at Carl Polichuk or even pound sign Carl Polichuk, 
so that in case people are searching for that specific thing, it will show up in a search. Remember, the at sign only shows up in a search if somebody is um, looking for a particular person, where if you are just normally just looking for any searchable term, the pound sign is a, is a better use of that. So you can propose these things in an introductory slide when you do your presentation and just at the very beginning you know, tell people I recommend that you use these hashtags and um, with luck they will follow you and they will have an online conversation about whatever it is that you're presenting at the time. And there you have a very quick and dirty introduction to TweetGrid.